didn't finish just in time. Yeah, with a three racks build, you're, you've got those upgrades Keep kicking in pretty question. early. How Thank you for the 200 biddies, Makia. Like when you pull all your works and need to Time adjust to the tree back Let's to the gas. What you can do. All right, guys, we've got a Terran versus Zerg versus uh, 2300 player, I believe it is. So I'm going to play really, really slow this game, guys, to try and um, show you guys some stuff that's going to be more useful for people on the lower end of gold um, and that sort of stuff, okay? So, thank you, Mackie, for the 200 biddies. How do you micro units off a group? Stupid question. Like, when you pull your workers and need to just add the three back into gas. Uh, well, basically, I always put them on a different army group. I always put them on their own army group. But you can use Control Shift. So, I'll show you. If you get your, if you do get your workers on your army group, same with overlords, queens, Stupid drones, question. whatever. How do you micro units off a group? Like I'm already answering it, Bob. And need to add just the three back to the gas. Yo. I'm so basically, say you've got them. Basically, you've got your whole army. You just select that army, click them on the gas, click them on the minerals, and then you go Control Shift, and it removes all of a unit type. So what do they do, guys? Control Shift, left click, removes all of a unit type. Oh, there's a hatchery, guys. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Now this could be a very serious build, or it could not. Um, if they're building a hatchery there, you know, obviously, we're gonna just follow my build. So, this is Silver League, guys. He said 2300, maybe he mistyped it, because this seems kind of advanced. I'm just gonna follow my build, as per normal. And you can see, oh, gas and pool, my lord. Alright. And this is not what you should do here, because he's building his buildings in your base, so it doesn't really make sense, and yet I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna follow my build the exact same way I normally would, the only difference is that I'm building my command center on the high ground, okay? We're gonna see how this goes, and we're gonna see if just the power of macro and following solid production, even though this is strategically not what you should do in that situation, pig. But mechanics trump strategy. Oh, he's taking a hatchery as well, interesting. Okay, so I think it, it, it's actually gonna work out well for me then. Not even gonna build a bunker, guys. I'm not even gonna build a bunker, okay? Just gonna get the four marines out. Alright, we can get two barracks. Keep building SCVs, marines. That SCV is just gonna hang out as a scout. Let's get that second gas, keep building SCVs. Lots of Zerglings building up, guys. So I think this is a point where you could say, well, I could easily just build a bunker for safety, right? Seems like that makes perfect sense here. Now, if you build it right there, they can actually detonate Banelings there and blow up both the bunker and your, um, both the depot and your bunker. So you've got to be a little careful of that. Just be a little careful of building it right next to the wall. So we're going to leave it back just a little bit. <clears throat> Thank you, Dirk. Get the two tech labs. And we're at 35 supplies, so it's factory time. I notice so we're dropping these mules. And once we get the stim and the shields, I mean, everything just becomes so smooth. So I think this is really super nice. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to sacrifice this SCV to get an idea of like, hey, are you, are you, you know, droning up or no? So we've got stim, shields on the way. Oh, hello. Well, I think he's answered our question, guys. Can we save that reactor is the question. Oh, we can. We saved the buildings. You know what? Silver League, guys. We're going to kill our own reactor. Okay? You're going to imagine we didn't do that. Da! Ah! Our Wolof's there. What are we going to do? My opponent's trying to now macro or build drones and kill us with them, which is amazing. Okay. This is amazing. Now, there was no ling speed, which is part of why we're not really worried right now. But it's also just, we're keeping our production up. Let's drop a supply drop there. Now, I'm not selling the bunker yet, you'll notice.
Wow. I didn't think that would time. I was like, what are the chances the lings will pop at the same time as the broodlings pop? Turns out, well, that was exactly the time that it was popping. Doesn't look like there's any creep at the back down here, but there is here. So we're just going to scan and, oh, looks like that was the edge of the creep. We just need to check that there's not a tumor down here. And it doesn't look like there is because you can see it's pulling back on all sides. So that command center is going to go down there. So we're going to move that down, sell the bunker. We've got the Medivax building that can now build its siege tanks. Um, we can get a third command center and then queue that back. Let's get the engineering bay. We forgot about that one. Okay. And medevacs are on the way. Rally points now at the front. I could probably go win right now, but it's always better to focus on what you know is consistently going to build up your strength. So fix your macro. If I've got a floating command center, I'm not going to distract myself by moving across the map at that point. It's not because moving across the map isn't the right choice. It's because I don't have the APM to handle both at once right now. So I have to make priority calls about, hey, what is the priority in this situation? And right now it's building SCVs, it's building mules, and starting a depot wall at the front of my base. Getting all these upgrades and tech and things that I've forgotten, like plus one, that are now coming in for me. And that's going to make a huge difference for me. See all this creeps going now, which is awesome. And we can dump a marine, send it there, dump a marine, stim it there, so we can see if he's taken a third. <coughs> we can always scan as well. After you've been rushed early on, we can scan and go, oh, he's playing Mutaling Vein. Cool. That gives me some invaluable information about what my opponent's up to. And now I can try to push into him and stop him getting there. Which, to be fair, was going to be the plan anyway. So we're queuing up lots more SCVs as we move. We're moving to a staging point. So we've A moved to three quarters of the way across the map. Not all the way. We don't want to be entering a macro situation that I'm not ready for. We want to be queuing up the fourth and fifth barracks. Queuing up an extra depot. Queuing up more marines and tanks and medevacs with all the money we can. And then we look at the front and we go, okay, cool. Let's scan ahead of my army, see what I'm going into. And it feels like my opponent has no army. He's got some roaches up there, but just a few spines here. So I'm just going to shove, siege my tank, and we're going to just move in. So move. So all my units can attack at once. If you have overwhelming firepower, guys, you do tend to stim forwards and stutter step forwards to just kill everything quickly. Whereas if you're outnumbered, you tend to start a step backwards and try to drag the fight out and give yourself time to get more reinforcements. And we can get on in here, drop a scan to kill that creep tumor. How did they know there's a tumor? Look how far the creep is sticking out. And we can just kill the base, kill the queens, and we should be able to win now. GG. Very nice opening from my opponent in that they do a cool distraction there. But they probably overcommitted by building so many Zerglings. And um, I think they were very low on drones at the start as well. So in terms of fundamentals, I think there was lacking drone production at the start. So we see one drone start, but where is the extra drone production? So I think this is a 13 hatchery. And the thing is, guess what? This hatchery starts at 47 seconds. So my opponent could have already built an overlord and two or three more drones and been at 16 workers and going for a 16 hatch over here and maybe have it down four or five seconds later than this, but have a way better economy behind it. <clears throat> so that's a big thing that was kind of missing. And then going for like 14 pool, 14 gas. So this is why I always tell people 17, 17, 17. If you're a beginner, even with an aggressive build, 17, 17, 17, rather than 13, 14, 14 would have been absolutely massive. GG's. And we just stuck to the build. We just built the command center on the high ground. I changed nothing. And confidently doing your build in the face of weird shit is a good thing. Now, to give you guys a little bit of insight on why was it the wrong choice, because, because I saw his gas and pool were down very early and he didn't have an extra hatchery at home, I thought I should have been reacting on one base and delaying my command center. But then I saw him put a hatchery down on the natural at home and I went, oh no, this was actually the right call. His build's just super weird. <laughs> so it was okay. What was the conclusion of the one base Nidus build for defense? Do you shut down the Nidus? I believe shut, I believe the A move was the better call in that particular scenario, get good. where um, And that way I don't lose the Zealots and I keep the Zealots and the Adepts alive and then we can kill stuff as it's popping very effectively. You just have to be careful to not, if the Zerglings kind of bait you around a little bit and, and don't actually engage, but are just wasting your time, then, then you might have to target the Nidus. But I, I think... 
ideally, um, you're just a bit more on top of everything anyway. Part of what made my holds so hard in those games is uh, I was getting like supply blocked and my void rays were getting late. I'm Young Beast, says Black Nier. Oh, awesome. GG, well played, mate. Ling Push did nothing. That was kind of sad. Uh, yeah, it was a good attempt. Um, in general, yeah, if you're going to do a hatchery in their natural like that, I would say it's probably better to not actually be going for an all-in. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think if you build the hatchery in the third base of the opponent and then build roaches out of it on one base at home, um, there's a really cool 14 hatchery, uh, 14 hatch, 14 pool, 14 double gas, 14 roach worm build. Uh, is it 14 or maybe 16 roach worm? But um, one base ravager out of the proxy hatch that, that Bly invented that's really good. All right, guys, we got a TVP here. I'm not sure the opponent's MMR, uh, but we're just going to basically... Uh, what league? Let's just quickly ask what league this is so I can calibrate my play as we try to show you guys how to shut down some cheesy cheese. 2.5k? Okay. Cool. So we can just play very standard here, guys. Uh, bronze to GM, beginner opening. We're in that MMR range. If it's bronze, silver, gold. And this is about gold 2, I believe. Maybe. Okay, maybe... Uh, maybe gold one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. Good luck, good luck. It says super lame build coming. Please focus on your build. Uh, I've already had a lot of players really botch their cheeses today. So I'm hoping this one's a little bit tighter. We'll see how it goes. Um, we'll probably just rally this SCV out, right? I, I normally say 16 at supply SCV scout. So we'll just use the rally. And we'll just tell that guy to go there. And uh, we will set up camera locations. Sometimes people are like, oh, don't use camera locations. I've had people suggest that for when I'm teaching because they're like, oh, well, most noobs don't use that. But for me, it means I'm spending all my brain power translating what I want to do into like purposefully inefficient button presses. And, um, and, and then I'm not as good at teaching, I find. So that's just uh, my whole thing. Oh, I accidentally pulled these SCVs off mining. Whoops. All right, we go reactor, we're in for the scout, we see some double gas, and I'm just gonna try and chase him back so we can get our command center up. Okay, let's see. I mean, this looks reasonably standard, right? I mean, it's a double gas build, so it is a one base build order, but it looks pretty standard. So anyway, put the SCV behind. Uh, let's get that, whoops, pulling a guy off gas. A bit awkward there. Uh, let's get that defo up. And uh, this guy is chasing him. We're just going to go back to mining now since that probe's not doing anything. We see a Nexus as well. So once we've seen a Nexus, that means that guy can come home because there's nothing to worry about. All right. <clears throat> now, obviously, uh, that looked a little sus, that probe there, but we're, we're pretending we didn't notice that. Because if you're really focused on your build, you're in Silver League, you're playing in something like this, maybe you're gold, gold 2, whatever. Um... You're not going to be paying attention to that, are you? So, makes sense to chill out on that. So, his probe's a bit of a little sus guy, isn't he? <laughs> oh, this is the most untrustworthy probe I've ever seen in my base. So, we go to the double barracks, we get the gas. <clears throat> All right. Um, you guys can tell me what race you guys want to play against, and... Uh, even if you guys want me to do a specific build, especially if you want to prove one of my builds is bad, you're uh, welcome to cough in and, and try it out, guys. I'm really encouraging people to, you know, throw stuff at me you think will kill me. I'm, I'm very curious to see how all these games go. <clears throat> so we want to go normally double tech lab in the factory about the same time, but I figure we're almost at 35 supply anyway. So I've got the money, might as well put that factory down. And you can see the marine count. If you have eight marines before 3.30, you're generally safe against a lot of the early little pokes and things, right? <clears throat> now, you could arguably squeeze a bunker into this build, and at this point would be the least expensive point, because you've already got the factory, the barracks, the tech lab started. As long as you're not cutting into, like, SCV production, it's like, hey, we could probably squeeze a bunker in. But for me, I'm prioritizing unit production over everything else. And that, for me, is just what I think is going to be more important here. So, <clears throat> keeping up SCV production as well here. I'm actually prioritizing that over getting these upgrades going. Stim and shields are now starting. Get another mule dropping. Every mule coming down is really important. And we're going to queue up four more marines here. These marines are all on hotkeys. <clears throat> awesome. 
All right, we can get that starport now. Now at this point, I just feel like there's no interaction. It's a bit blind, so I'm gonna grab a Marine, send them out to both of my opponent's bases. We could scan at this point. Remember, if we wanted to be safe first DTs, we'd save energy. We're not gonna do that because I don't explicitly tell a lot of people I teach to do that. Um, I say, hey, you know, if your opponents are DT rushing you a lot, it's happening a lot, cool, add it in. But we don't want to play scared in StarCraft. Learning to confidently walk into the face of fear is, uh, yeah, it's huge. And what are we doing, guys? Just SCVs, Marines. SCVs, Marines, Depot. That's it. Okay. So we see no third base on the minimap. If we want, we can also put a Marine in the middle as well. We can take these two gases now that that's pretty much saturated. We get the tech lab up there, do the swap swapity swap. We're past 65 uh, supply, which is where you meant to get the eBay, so let's get that. And we've got medevacs, and that means it's marauder and concussive time as well. Awesome. All right, guys, now that we're in pretty huge production phase, uh, we definitely want Gary and Bruce, right? So let's get Gary and Bruce up here building depots. And notice I put it right against the edge so I can fit a lot of depots there. Without going back and going, oh, I'm out of space, this is awkward, where do I put it? None of that stuff. Now, at this point, I'm kind of antsy about what's going on. Ooh, we just dropped a mill, and that's a DT, guys. So let's build a turret. We're going to try and kill the prism. Get, 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 get. Now, he was way too cautious there and ran away, even though I have no scans, guys. We're going to raise that. And what are we doing? We're going to split our marines and marauders across every single area and my opponent who could have just done a lot of damage and forced me to run my workers away just assumed that I had scan available and backed on out so big mistakes for my opponent and um, we're just gonna f2 stim a move to try and deal with this now obviously if I click on the prism there's no getting out uh, we just f2 would it and he comes in the natural now with the DT so this is what I was talking about a lot of people said uh, you're, this builds weak to DTs and I'm like yeah for sure man um you could really do some um, <laughs> some simple stuff like save scans or, or, you know, from four minutes for a little bit and, and have them ready. But your opponents are going to hit at all sorts of different timings doing, you know, all sorts of weird things. So I don't think it makes too much sense to play afraid against something until you actually see it. So you can build the third. Um, no problem. GG. That was more fun than I expected. All right, guys, so we are going up against a 2 point, was it 2.7 or 2.8k player? So someone who's about Platinum League, Cosmic here, and TVP. We're going to be walking you guys through the beginner build order, and we'll see all day I've had people cheesing me, challenging me with all sorts of weird disruptions and strange things, you know. Basically trying to give all the annoying things about ladder uh, a go against me. Now, obviously, I'm playing against people way below my skill level, so it's not too hard for me to respond, but I'm hoping that... You know, hopefully by rehashing what my reactions were in the replays, watching them, you guys are able to learn exactly what we're doing. So we're up against Cosmic, it's a TVP, and we're just going to follow my beginner build order, my bronze to GM build order. So I'll get that one. Actually, I think I remember it pretty well. I'm going to really focus on slowing down as well. So what I mean by that is we're not going to um, kind of spam too many, many buttons. Like I'm, I'm going to try and really just slow down. I will still have probably 150, 160 APM. But when you use efficient mechanics, it's like you need to actually play at a glacial pace to go below that. Like, it, uh, it's quite hard. So we'll go do a little doop de doop around the base. Rally those guys onto gas. Change that rally point back. <clears throat> um, I appreciate it that someone dropped in the chat the other day and they're like, hey, I haven't, I haven't watched your stream, but I've watched your first person view stream when you're playing normally now. And I actually didn't appreciate before how much you were slowing down doing bronze to GM <laughs> compared to your normal play. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. People don't, they don't, they don't realize that, do they? <laughs> I'm like, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, still, yeah. Okay. So that's a Nexus, probably Nexus after Cybercore, um, but doesn't really matter guys. Real standard looking build order. So we'll just go around and then bring that SCV home. Let's build our second depot here. Um, just make sure our control groups are good. SCVs, mills. I like the rally point to be up. If you just rally your units out the front, like a lot of people do, 
It gives you no time to react, guys. Whereas if our command center sees see stuff coming in, our units are on top of our ramp, or even further back up here, I think that's much nicer. Gives you a bit more time to react, so definitely something I would advise. We also saw both pylons in the main. That's a kind of advanced scouting tip. Doesn't really matter for what we're doing right now, but just something to keep in mind. It's good to know where those are. All right, guys, so we want to batch things up, right? <clears throat> we want to batch things up. So what do we want to do next? You want to grab two SCVs to build two barracks, cue them back, and then grab another SCV and build the gas. The reason we don't want to do that together is the gas SCV obviously wants to stay on the gas, whereas the barracks SCVs, we want those to rally back onto the minerals. So you can see why you would want to be giving different commands there, right? So let's keep queuing SCVs. Uh, obviously, it looks like you're going to get supply blocked at this point, but then you realize, hey, the natural is basically two depots finishing. So that works out real nicely. And um, yeah, we're just going to follow our build order completely blind um, for at least the next little while. Obviously, if you guys want, you could do advanced scouting, like leave an SCV at the third, sneak a marine around the map, all this stuff. But uh, it really just comes down to how you want to play the game. Now, we're getting that factory a little before 35 supply, so actually slightly early this game, I guess we could say. Building lots of SCVs. Now, we need these two tech labs, but you see I don't have the money for it, so I'm just holding the tech lab key down, and they do start when I have the money. And... You know what? I should have actually let that... Um, I should have let that... Uh, that get in right i was like i was like raise the depot and i kind of did it slow but still i think most of you would have let that in if you're playing bronze silver gold plat so should have just let it in and then just dealt with it i think would have been good now it's time for gary to start building depots we're a little slow on that so we're gonna get bruce over there as well just to make sure we don't get supply blocked we're building lots of marines <clears throat> We're going to drop more mules. Now, something you could do if you wanted to be safe for, say, DTs, is you would save mules from four minutes onwards. Not drop them for a little bit so that you have scans available. I'm not doing that. We're just doing the most standard version of the build, right? I'm not even splitting marines in my main in case an oracle walked in, which you could argue is a bit of a, you know, a bit lazy, a bit of a mistake. But uh, that's that's the way it goes. Um, we're just We're just keeping it really basic. Now, what if you do want to scout? Well, I said, okay, let's let's do some scouting, guys. Let's do some scouting. We're going to send some marines out, uh, dump those off our hotkey. And the whole idea there is we actually... Um, let's get the double gas on the natural, by the way, as we get the tech lab on the starport so we can get tank production going without getting starved. Um, yeah, it's just going to give you some more, more vision and that sort of stuff. It's like, hey, why not? Now we're at 65 supply, which is when we drop the engineering bay. It's a very late engineering bay, I know, but better late than never. And I think it's around this point, we've taken the gases, you start building tanks. This is also where I like to swap over to marauder production, okay? So we're going to build one last depot there to finish the wall. And then we'll go up in the main, get Bruce back with Gary there as well. Now we don't see a third base from my opponent. If you want, you could drop a scan to see what they're up to. Oh, wow, okay. And we, Stim just finished and Shields is done, so we're going to try and start a step in front there. Now, if you guys are ever getting attacked... Slow down, slow down. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. One, two, three, four depots. Tank. Uh, building a tank. We need money, we need money, we need money. Okay. And what we can do now is, in this scenario, he could blink in my main, right? That could be an issue. Looks like he's not going to, so we're just going to siege the tank there. And just try and pull back, let the tank do its work. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a lot of units up in the main now. And everything else just there. Keep building SCVs. Let's try and rebuild that depot wall. Keep building SCVs. Let's get plus one weapons. I didn't queue these SCVs back onto mining. Which is definitely an issue. But look, I see he's only on two base. So being two base first, two base is normally pretty good. And we're going to just stim and A-move those guys. Now, we could have F2 A-move as well is another way of doing it, guys. We can also put a tank up there. And you can see, though, generally, as long as you have enough bio, unless your opponent has really excellent micro, you can um, do pretty well just by doing it that way. And then we always split our bio. If someone's stalker attacking you like this, we rally to the front. We leave most of the marines and stuff in the main, okay? We're going to build a third command center now. So we are doing the macro transition of the build. We're also going to keep building depots, keep building SCVs, keep building Marines and Marauders. Now, because I F2'd, I pulled all those Marines home, right? 
If you guys are in a chaotic situation and you need to grab everything, it's not a bad thing, especially when you're just defending. But if it's later in the game and you've got your units spread across the whole map, it's a really bad habit. So generally, great tool, but don't want to be using it all the time, right? It's, it's kind of like having a gun around the house. You don't want to just be like, I heard a noise! And then you just start shooting a shotgun through the wall at where that noise came from. Like, I think that's the best analogy I'd give to F2. An amazing tool, uh, but if you use it without actually thinking about why you're using it, it's not going to do well for you. It's going to have some unforeseen side, side effects. All right, guys, so let's move out. So first of all, we don't know if he's nearby. So I'm going to put some marine spotters on the edges here just to see kind of... Oh! So we're going to siege our tankies. It's a lot of stalkers, guys. Now, remember, stalkers are really bad units the bigger the fight gets. So seeing mass stalker like that doesn't worry me. What worries me is if my opponent goes for a whole lot of... Um, and let's just put a marine down here, so in case he backstabs us as we move out. A whole lot of, uh, you know, Colossus or something like that. Let's send another marine ahead. So we just... Whenever we do this, remember what I'm doing is I'm dumping those marines off my hotkey, guys. All right, let's just try and catch him here. Just push him back. We're just going to stim towards the stalkers, but looks like he did already back away. And he's... Pure Stalker is Cosmo. Okay, wow. Really cool. He's, he's going to be moving back with his Stalkers there. So you see we're scanning where his army is. Okay. Lots of Marines and Marauders building. Lots of Marines and Marauders. We're just going to siege our tanks here. And we're going to start to kind of like leapfrog our way in, okay? And you can see attacking into these tanks is going to be a disaster for him. My tanks have big range, so I can always pull back, shoot, pull back. And if he chases me, his units are going to clump up a lot. I just saw something there. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's obviously a bit of a mistake for him. He does have Colossus here. So let's try and move forward. So if you scan and then you see, oh, he's not even up here. He can't jump on me. So I can move all the way up until he's actually in position to stop me, right? And we can just A move here. We click the battery down so he doesn't have that. And you can see I can once again pull back to the tanks. Does he have a base here? He doesn't. So what we can do now is we can leapfrog. So we're going to box the tanks, unsiege, shift siege, shift siege, spread the bio out a little bit around these guys. And you can see an Artosis is in there. Cosmic's going to chat with the GG. Okay, so mass blink stalk is really interesting. Um, technically at pro level, that build should beat my build, I believe, just because... Maybe not should beat it, but definitely can because my tanks are so late. So the stalkers with like excellent parting micro should be able to pick me apart there. But otherwise, it's just kind of like, yeah, not a big deal. Dark Templar, surprisingly, no one's done that to me today. Um, so, you know, we haven't had a chance to, to show you guys how to hopefully scramble and deal with it. But the thing is, I mean, when you're doing that level of a build order, that's like your bronze, your silver. Maybe you're in the lower half of gold. Maybe you're higher half of gold still, but you're, you're really like, as soon as you feel a bit more natural doing what you want to do there, guys, then good luck. Good luck, young beast. Thanks for uh, then, then you can add in an SCV scout or scanning their base at the four minute mark to get an idea of what's going on. Uh, pig learn channel, guys, if you guys want to choose me. So there's, there's a lot of different things there. All right, guys, so we're going to be playing another game here, defending a cheese from uh, one of my viewers. So I am going to be playing against someone who is, I think, 2.8k MMR. So this is about Platinum 2, I think. Platinum 2, something like that. I, I get really bad at remembering my leagues. Point being, it's Protoss vs. Terran. I'm trying to follow builds that a lot of people watching this are going to have followed. Um, builds that people have criticized is not optimal and blah, blah, blah. So I'm mostly uh, going to be doing like B to GM style builds, uh, my beginner build orders, that sort of stuff. So just kind of following that structure to, to show you guys how to respond to cheese off of what is, I think, going to be a very familiar structure to a lot of people out there. We're just doubling these workers up a little bit. Just make sure they're mining. As always, let's rally our first worker to the ramp. And we want to go depot, depot, depot. So we're already clicking that button. And bam, bam, bam. The moment we get the money for that. So why do I prioritize these patches? Notice they all have more minerals on them, guys. They all start with 1,800 minerals as opposed to 900. And they're just a tiny, tiny little bit closer. All right. So remember, we're going to do a uh, 16 scout. We're going to be doing a three racks build order. And um, I might do it slightly different than in B to GM, but it should be like very similar. If I do it slightly different, it's just because it's been a little while since I did it. So some of my 
GM habits might filter in there. Let's, uh, I've got it up on my second monitor, so we should be good. Let's send a worker scout across the map, guys. And what do you do with your worker scout? Scout around their base and then go hide behind it, right? Just same as always. Grab two guys to go on gas. Get that guy to mine from the inside. Some nice little advanced uh, adjustments here just to make sure the build's tight. Yeah, about 35 factory. That's what we've got to try and remember to do. If it's a little later, it's okay. And I think we get the second gas only after then, right? We're going to attack the uh, probe as it comes in. Not a bad idea to do that because he could harass me and cause me trouble. We're going to get a reactor here. We're going to get our command center down. Now, we see no expansion and a second gateway. Okay, so it looks like a two gate opening from my opponent. It's okay. So... Command center there. And I'm wondering where his cyber core is right now, guys. Yes, I think he's forgotten his cyber core. So we're going to check around my base in case he's proxied it. Um, we're also going to get that depot, which I've forgotten to build, which is a bit of a bummer. Let's try and attack that probe, make sure he doesn't stop me from doing that. All right, we're building Marines two at a time, guys. I'm just going to leave this SCV in vision. So I think my opponent's really botched his build by forgetting the cyber core, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Either way, let's get the second barracks. Just follow the build order as usual. So he's being a bit of a nuisance right now, but our Marines are here. So we're just going to run the SCV off. Get that guy up. And... Okay, it doesn't look like we're being hit by anything. Just seeing the missing cyber core. If there's something missing, something obvious something normal i will always send a scout out to look but we actually see a nexus right now so that's good to know looks like it's an all standard build guys from here we don't need to change anything in the build order because we've seen that when is uh, does second gas actually go down after the barracks right second and third barracks plus second and second gas okay cool so i, I probably should have done those all at once just to emulate kind of low level play where you've got lower apm so rather than doing it as you get the money you kind of do it just you know all at once. Yep. Um, I might as well click this SCV in just to see what's going on. See if we can get some vision. So he did build the cyber code, just forgot uh -huh. it for a while. And we're just gonna kind of go around, see what we can see. Alright guys, we're at 35 supply, so let's build that factory. Put guys on gas. We can build a stim here as well. So we still see only one pylon there, which is like... So guys, this is a big tell. Where are the pylons, right? <laughs> This is a, a very big tell that there is, like, things missing. <laughs> now, we're past 35 supplies, so we need Gary to start building depots from now on, guys. Still building lots and lots of Marines right now. Um, the lack of buildings. We could build a bunker. I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to bother, guys. Let's just stick to our normal build and just hit the Marine production, hit the SCV production, hit the depot production. Let's just keep alternating through all of those things, man. All right, and we're just kind of queuing around, and I I am not sure, you know, what's going on, but I think my opponent maybe just messed up by forgetting the, the core. People sometimes get excited when they get to play against me, so sometimes I challenge my viewers, and they bring out the sickest cheese ever, and they play like they're way higher level than they said they were, and they're like, oh, well, I used to be masters, and I'm like, what? You told me you were platinum. And then there's other players who are like platinum-ish, but then they... um. Just look a bit more nervous. All right, guys. So we can just run the SCVs away. And we're just A-moving my Marines up here. And now we just go back to mining. So the thing is, that doesn't look like a scary attack, does it? Here we go. So look at this. He's being very fancy with his drops. Now, what could we do? We could scare it, stare at it. Or we can chill. Now, he's got some buildings up there as well. So at this point, we've already seen that he is very likely to... Be attacking two different areas at once. We've now found where that proxy is. We want to get the engineering bay, which we forgot about. Normally comes down about 65 supply. We can get the medevac production. We're also going to get concussive shells, guys. We've got medevacs. We're going to build the tech lab there so we can start building tanks as well. You see the prism can't really get in anymore. This SCV is still getting chased. I'm going to send him home. If he gets home, that's legendary. And I'm not sure if I really remember when I ever built the gases on the uh, natural in this build. I'm looking at the initial write-up of it. Add-ons ready. 
Oh, okay, so I think it's when we start tank production, we go for the third and fourth gases, or when we start the tech lab. Ah, okay. So that's what I forgot to do here, guys. All right. Um, Gary, build another depot, and then get up here and join Bruce, so you guys can build depots for the rest of the game. And we've got medevacs here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab everything to the front, and I'm just going to leave a little squad of guys there, because he's been very annoying. The thing is, if you're hitting your production really well, you don't really need to worry too much about um, leaving units at home because you've got so many units popping out. The problem is right now there's a bit of supply block, so there's a bit of a gap in production. Now, we can from here do a macro transition where we take a third command center, or we can take a fourth and fifth barracks, right? Both of those are really quite fine. Now, for me... Okay, look at that. So we can stim these guys, and these guys can move down behind. So if anyone ever does a drop like this, guys, and you've got a lot of bio, you can always do what we call the uh, the old Sanger here, and just A, move towards that prism. We should be able to get it. That allows me to now grab these units. Let's just pull back, organize. So what do we do? A few more SCVs, a few more Marauders and Marines, rebuild that tech lab, rebuild medevacs, send an SCV out. We're going to do the macro transition this game onto the third base. Okay. Grab these guys, and let's go clear the proxy. Clearing the proxy is huge, especially if someone builds their tech out there, guys. So what we're going to do is scan. We'll do a big stim, an A move. The scan tells us there's no storm, there's no disruptors, there's no colossus. And you can see that his army is way smaller than ours. So what we could do is move on top of his army, just like that. And that's why we're not dropping any mules from now. Because remember, once you start attacking with Terran, you don't want to be dropping any mules. Because you need the vision. You need that vision. It's so important. We're still building SCVs as well. Clearing up this. Now, this is where a lot of people just run their blob around. But he knows where my blob is. So guys, let's dump. So remember, dumping key. Notice we've got 45 units there. I grab another Marine. I dump it. And I've just stimmed a Marine to his two third base location options. Okay. Just getting a little bit of vision without having to only rely on scans. It's really good, especially if there's no pressure on you to kind of build that habit and really try and get better at actually getting some vision out of the map. Now we're marching on forward. It looks like, oh, he doesn't have a third base, so we can just scan his natural. We know that's where he's going to be. And notice our opponent is building stalkers, which are really trash tier units. So we're very confident and happy. He just walked in high Templar, which means they don't have any splash damage yet, guys. So what are we going to do? We're going to click that battery, click that battery. That means he doesn't have any battery overcharge. We can siege the tank there. And all we're doing is A moving, drop another stim. You can see that orange Thunderbolt pops up on the bio when their first stim runs out. And awesome. We can scan up there. We can just shove up the ramp. We don't see any disruptors, colossus, high Templar, anything that could really kill our army and we're just going to push on up now you're going to notice my build was a bit off from the aggression my opponent did i've only got one tank at nine minutes here i have like where are the other tanks remember my tech lab got sniped as well gg so we ended up not having as many tanks as normal but we still were trying to follow our normal build after each disruption and get back to the normal path it's just if maybe normally i wait for three siege tanks to push out we didn't wait for that because we said, hey, I may not have as many tanks as normal, but my opponent has taken so much damage, right? Because committed hard to a proxy and that sort of stuff and, and didn't quite manage to do anything with it. So if we bring this back to the most fundamental level, this is your classic, uh, unfortunately ran out of name, forgot the cyber core for a very long time and really messed up the build. So this build really didn't make any sense. This clearly was not well practiced from ran out of name. And... Um, got really excited and, and and kind of, yeah, forgot about the build. So if you want to try that build again, I'm happy to do it, mate. But um, yeah, it's it was, uh, I was like, where's the cyber core? I probably should have typed in chat. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, no adjustments were really needed in this game, right? Because normally the thing is, as long as they take an expansion before 3.30 in the lower leagues, you go, cool, normal build, follow my normal build, just do things as normal. Um, the gateways were in his base. They weren't proxied at the start. That's the only thing that would have prompted me to maybe build the command center on the high ground or something like that at the start of the game. So yeah, we were pretty confident just building Marines and following the build order here. And this was an example of someone tried to cheese, messed up a few fundamentals, and we didn't really need to adapt at all. So this was 
just a, an easy hold based off us just following the build. And the thing is, until you get to about Diamond 1, you will run into maybe 30% of your games where your opponent cheeses. I think maybe maybe more than that. Maybe I mean, in, in, up to Platinum, it's maybe 70%. You can defend just by doing your build well without really changing your build. You might need to move your units correctly or pull some SCVs to help you fight when you defend. But there's a lot of things... Um, there's, there's a lot of things that can kind of go on there. So yeah, it's really, uh, really interesting. All right, guys, we're going to give Ran out of name another chance to actually do the build properly. And I'm, I'm not going to be blind countering anything. We're just going to be trying to follow through. So looking at my bronze to GM Terran document that we have open here. I mean, what if I do see a proxy or an all in, right? What is, what, 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 what do we do? What do we do versus proxies? What do we do versus, uh... Dirty, super, super fast attack. So let me try and find that over in my document and see if there's an exact list for now. Just stick into the build order. I mean, normally I believe it's literally just build a bunker. And if we're being one base, that bunker is of course going to be on the high ground. Um, up here, we'll probably be building it and we'll be ready to just pull the SCVs off the low ground if we get attacked and, and deal with it. That's kind of the standard thing. Other than that, you just keep pumping out units because the great thing about the beginner build is you have so much production that you're, you know, able to just pump out enough stuff. And as Stim kicks in, it's a big power spike. Shields kicks in, big power spike. Once you get some medevacs, huge power spike. Marauders added in, tanks. Your army just gets better and better. You're not, you know, a lot of people are like, I'm going to build Hellions and then Widow Mines and then a Liberator and then a Battle Cruiser. And there's like this eight minute period in the game where they just don't have any meat to their army. So that's definitely something that can make things harder than it needs to be. So we're going to try and play real slow here as well, guys, because we are still playing against, you know, people who aren't that high. Um, I'm sending my SCV scout out a little bit late, by the way. So there we go. Let's attack the probe with one SCV just so he doesn't harass my barracks SCV too much. Also gets us a, a jump on defending a cannon rush if there's ever a cannon rush coming in. All right, we're going to get that reactor. The SCVs can go down. Can try to move up and then drill. And you can see here, just trying to get some nice damage done on him. All right. So, we don't see an expansion. I'm still going to build the command center here, guys. Though, remember, if we are being one base proxied, we wouldn't do that. And we see, oh, okay, he's two gate. But he's walled off his base. Now, the fact that he's walled off his base fully, that tells us our opponent is cheesing us. Now, why does it tell us that? Because, guys, he can't rally probes to his expansion. So we are going to just go around the map and look for that proxy now. So SCV is still on the way. Marines are on the way. Um, the fact that his buildings are at home kind of means, you know, there's, there's a part of us that's like, oh, should we really be that worried? And a lot of people would panic and build the bunker now. And I think that's okay if you're at basic level, right? Because you're still learning things. But as you get higher, you realize that, hey, if I build the bunker right now, it delays this barracks and the next barracks. So I'm still going to get the second barracks, then I'll build the bunker. And this is just allowing me to make sure... Oh, okay, look at that, guys. Third gateway is there. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go there and then just that SCV. We can see what's up. All right. Let's get that third barracks now as well. Now, these tech labs are going to be a bit exposed. They could get sniped from the low grounds. So that's actually bad barracks placement, I would argue. SCVs need your protection. And we see, oh, it's a robo. Now, what our SCV is going to do is that's going to go across, hide on the right side of the map. So that can come in and scout if he expands later on. Just so we have some vision of that. All right. Now, let's get the... Uh, Depot, second gas. Now, because he's one base all in, we're going to build a bunker up here as well, okay? And this way, we're kind of covering the whole main base, right? And we're building SCVs, but we're rallying them into the main. We're already putting on gas ahead of time. We're building stim. And I could go down there and try and kill this zealot, but i got to get back up here because there could be a warp prism ferrying units in soon, okay? And all we need to do is defend on one base and get to those power spikes. Hey, guess what, guys? We need another tech club. We need a factory. Same as always. Another depot. And just keep building marines here. Notice we don't really have enough money to keep building marines. And building these two bunkers, we're skipping SCV production, which sounds bad. But let's just put our SCV hidden behind the natural to see if he's expanded. And that's just going to give me confidence to keep queuing marines, queuing marines, queuing marines. 
can start adding some marauders in. We can move these guys forward just to see if he comes in. I actually could have gone to the edge. Does he have any high ground vision? So we're building marauders now as well. Oh, look at this guys. So he's actually gone void rays. Isn't that fascinating? So we're not going to change anything with the build, even though technically, if I was playing a super pro, I'd be like, ooh, cyclones kind of counter that. I think what's more powerful is just getting medevacs for my stim bio. So we're going to lift up the command center, pull that up here. I'm only building marines. I built some marauders, but I don't think I need any more guys. And just going to move over to that edge and just try and kill these buildings. Get an engineering base, we can get an upgrade. Just having enough bio beats all this stuff. If he had disruptors or colossus, I might be building tanks because the splash damage would scare me. But right now, we're waiting for the medevacs. We're going to get the tanks out only now. Same order as always. And now let's move that command center back to the low ground. Let's grab my idle workers and send them there. Or maybe not this guy. He can stay here. He's still on one base. So we know that this is still very much leave that bunker leave the bunkers loaded medevacs are on the way the marauders i don't want them to go too far forward he kills the tech lab all right let's rally to the natural let's keep building depots let's get plus one attack pull some extra workers down let's queue up some more guys and we can see okay he kills the mule now, notice I'm not stimming, guys. Why am I not stimming? Because my medevacs aren't out yet. If we're going to just waste stims pre-medevac, there's no way for me to heal. It's it's not going to be a good time. Build a deeper. Build another medevac. I'm trying to queue medevacs here. And now at this point, we can say, cool, I've got two bunkers defending in case the void rays are annoying. I can even stim. I just told that bunker to stim in case you guys didn't know. Stim some more marines up here as well. But you can see even those four marines in the bunker defend all that. And he's F2'd everything in. And we've got medevacs out. Stim, shields, both done. Let's get concussive. And I think we can just stim an A move now. So we're just going to go out here. We're just going to click way behind the stalkers, guys. And there we go. Bit of stutter step. Bit of stutter step. And we're going to go straight to the base. Not even going to bother hanging around. Gonna build two more barracks just to make sure. Queue up more SCVs. Add these medevacs to our army. Transfer some more SCVs. Get all the idle guys there. We can scan ahead. Stalkers, not very good fighting units, remember guys. And we can just box these guys, stim them, and go bam, 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 bam. Get right on in there. A move at this point. They're gonna do the job. We can see there's void rays in our base. So we can go, okay. You're being a bit of a cheeky dickhead. And you can see the marines here. Try and build a cyclone. And back at home. These guys are doing their job. We can aim move over to the proxy now after they kill all this. Just make sure there's no buildings or anything down here. There we go. And... A decent attempt by the opponent. But, GG. So what we can see here is when you're playing people below pro level, their builds are not tight. And there is a sliding scale of how much less tight they get down the ladder. So this is a platinum opponent, remember. This is not Silver League or anything like that. But this build just does not hit very fast. Now, it looks like ran out of name, forgot the Cybercore again. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, the, the gateway did just finish, right? Wait, why did the gateway... No, 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 this gateway was done for ages. Ran out of... You've never cheesed before, have you, ran out of name? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you for your effort, but I don't know what was going on here, mate. This is... Uh... <laughs> Why are the probes all pulling? What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> The accidental double click. Oh no. And then it doesn't even end up going down. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. And the Cybercore still didn't even start. <laughs> so
so I think the build order is like just totally mistimed here. Like you're going for the pylon in the gateway way before you need to. So a cheesy build order doesn't have to be that different from your normal build, right? Take the Nexus out of the build, but still like, like so, so let me focus on some like little details here that you guys are gonna regularly encounter people that they, they mess up. So the first thing was that pylon needs to go down right on 100 minerals. We're at 125, could be 175 even. That it could be slightly faster that pylon. It's okay, it's not too bad. But that gateway needs to go down the moment that pylon finishes. Now, if you want a super cheese, you could also go 12 pylon 13 gate or 12 pylon 14 gate, right? But look at that. We pulled two probes and once again, about 200 minerals when that gateway went down, right? So, and we got a third probe rallied out as well. So we can just kind of see that we're not used to cheesing it, but still should just be gate, gas, send a probe, send a single probe out to the proxy. You don't really need to send two out. You don't need to get overly fancy. Like when you're learning a build, don't be trying to like, I'm going to harass with one probe and then I'm going to proxy with another probe and I'm going to make up a build order on the fly. It's like, you, it's like you're trying to learn three steps in one go. So if, if you're going to cheese on it, it's like, keep it really basic. It's all about the execution of the build. There's no mind game of distract the opponent, hide the build. Same as learning a macro build. You don't focus on microing the heck out of your first reaper when you're learning a macro build. You often don't micro it at all. You just leave it sitting there because you're learning the build first. You gotta learn the macro of the build before you focus on the micro or the distraction or the deception. It's the same with a cheesy build order, right? And that's really friggin', really friggin' important. So like here, it's like, hey, why are we building a pylon and, and hanging out and microing a probe? All you need to do is be building a, like that gateway, bam, on time, cybercore right on time. Don't wall yourself in, no reason. Just make it, make it look more normal. The moment you wall yourself in, you give away what you're doing, but you're also just distracting yourself from getting the basics done. So just for benchmarking, a proxy Stargate, if you go 12 pylon, could be started at a minute 52. There could be a Stargate started here. In this particular game, we're so tangled up overthinking everything and just not focusing on the basics because that's it. This is like a, a macro player's perception of what it is to be a cheeser where you're like, there's that, you know, you guys know the maths meme, there's numbers flying past and shit. And sh oh, oh. It's not, it's it's literally you're just building your buildings in a different order to get your units out faster and then you're smushing your units into your opponent's face, right? But this is a macro player's idea of what a cheese looks like. They're like, I'm building a robo, but then he scouts it, but then I chase them off and I cancel it and build a Stargate. Whoa, 300 IQ. And I'm like, dude, this Stargate for context is starting a minute after a normal one gate expand into Stargate would start right? A normal one gate expand into Stargate would have started a minute earlier than this Stargate. You can start it at about 2.15 if you go gas first, no scout. It started at 3.15, 3.10. That's crazy late. Even like you could have an expansion with 10 probes on it and be going for this Stargate at this time, right? So this just shows like Obviously, this is not what you'd run into on the ladder because run out of name has clearly been a macro virgin, which is fine. But your cheese is actually way easier than you guys think it is. Don't be microing workers to harass. Don't be trying to distract. You need to learn the build innately. A lot of people have this idea of like, yeah, I got a mind game. I got to No, you don't. You can have let, let them see everything you're doing and just try to get your buildings down at the fastest time and, and then just do your build. And it's going to be way more effective than that, guys.